Hi there everyone, my name is Melissa and today we're going to do story time and because it is going to be Halloween, I decided we are going to do some scary tales. Um, it is Halloween and here I am with little Liam on all his black saying hi there on his onesie and here's my little spooky cat and ghost and my spooky jack-o-lantern and here I am with my Jack and Sally. So I am all out for Halloween. It is one of my favorite holidays. So I have two tales today called A Dark Dark Tale and the other one is called All Hallows Weaves in Salem. This one is new. I've never read this one before. So this one is going to be ex exciting. On a Excuse me for this uh, rain, it's reflecting. So hopefully it doesn't bother us too much while I'm reading. We'll find out. So we're gonna start with A Dark Dark Tale by Ruth Brown. Once upon a time, there was a dark, dark moor. On the moor, there was a dark, dark wood. Let me see the woods. So spooky, if you can see the castle right there. In the wood, there was a dark, dark house. And there goes the house or the castle. Oh yeah, and here, here's an owl. At the front of the house, there was a dark, dark door. There's the door, if you can see it with the rain. Behind the door, there was a dark, dark hall. Look, there's a spooky unicorn. In the hall, there was some dark, dark stairs. There goes the stairs with the cat. Cat's going up the stairs. Up the stairs, there was a dark, dark passage. That's the passage. Across the passage was a dark, dark cur curtain. There's the curtain. And also here's the cat. He's running behind the curtain. Behind the curtain was a dark, dark room. Look at the dark, dark room. And the horsey, the rocking horse. In the room was a dark, dark cupboard. Here's the cupboard and the cat. In the cupboard was a dark, dark corner. Look at all that, all the toys in the dark corner. Oh yeah, here's a baby doll and there's the books. All kinds of toys here. In the corner, there was a dark, dark box. There's the box and it has a light in there. You can see a car, balls. And in the box, there was a mouse. Ooh, look at that. And it looks frightening too. Oh, because you know why? The cat has found the mouse. That's why. The end. And the next one's called All Huddles Eve in Salem and is by, written by Kristen James and illustrated by Elisa Arturva. I think it's, uh, I'm actually probably pronouncing it wrong. But also, like, you can find this book if you guys enjoy this. 
You can find it um, on Amazon. I found it on Amazon. All Hallows Eve in Salem, the official town of Halloween. Salem, 1626. Halloween had finally arrived in Salem, also known as the unofficial town of Halloween. The snow was falling lightly atop the, atop the witch's house, while the ghosts of an old barrier point practiced their chorus of boo oh to sing for the townspeople. See the ghosts in the graveyard and the barnhouse. The vampires were in their coffins, flossing and brushing their fangs to look their best. The gargoyles flew over the house of the Seven Gables just as the full moon began to rise and the sun began to set. There's the vampires, there's a pumpkin, there's the gargoyles right here in the black house. It's just called the Seven Gables. That's a real place in Salem. Frankie, Frankie was in the cottage of the old pioneer village, shining his bolts and ironing his old black suits. There's Frankie ironing. Wolfie was at the cottage next door, laying out his favorite scare attire, for they both anticipated their front doorbell rings from the year trick-or-treaters. Along the old wharf, the guild people dorsed themselves with more slime and seaweed, giving themselves more shine and pre reputation to go door to door in search of candy. See the boat? And these are the, the oh, what is it, the guild people? So yeah, the guild people. And you see the moon and the sky. I think it's very pretty illustration. The mummy replaced the bandage, its bandages inside the museum, looking outside and enjoying the snowfall, something that mummies never experienced while in Egypt. There's the mummy. Finally, the witches were inside their old house, creating their portions and famous candid candied apples for the, for the arrival of children of Salem. There are the witches, preparing for Halloween. Nicole looked over the brooms, making sure the bristles were extra briskly and that the broomstick didn't have any splintery splinters. There she is. Her name is Nicole. Sophia, took care of their black purple dresses, verifying they were perfectly perfect and made sure their hats were properly formed with the pointiest points of the top. This is Sophia. With the witchery cradle and small poof of smoke, the portions and apples were complete, once again made to, made to perfection by the one and only Meredith. Look at that. The sun has set, the snow still fell. It was so loud, you could not have heard a banjo yell. The children walked up and down the street, laughing and screaming with fellow ghouls and goblins and creatures you had only seen in the futures. There's the children going trick or treating. Wolfie howled at the full moon from the front of the witch's museum, signaling to the town that Halloween was officially begun. All the while, Frankie handed out candies to the children of Salem from the old Salem witch house. There it 
we go. The mummy left the museum and walked up and down the exit street. At one point, he stopped to help the kids tie their bandages to look like him. The vampire took their little bats down door to door to get candles for little nibbling, accompanied by gill people and their little gillers. Gillies. That's cute. The wishes flew across the sky, dropping apples ever so perfectly into the bags of children below. The gargoyles sat atop the building and kept guard over the little ones, looking like frozen statues with snow atop their heads. Oh wow, I find that exciting. Halloween night in Salem is like no other. Yes, it is only one night a year, but do not fright, for another holiday is just around the corner. Happy Halloween. All right. Well, thank you, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, push like. There will be more. And so please, if you want, subscribe. And I do hope to see you soon. Bye. Happy Halloween.